could be reaching an end soon to the murder trial of Brian Cohey Jr. The defense could rest as early as this week. Rob Hagan stands by live at the Mesa County Justice Center with an update. Uh, Rob, what's the latest? Mike, the defense called three doctors to the stand on Monday, including two psychologists. And today, one of those psychologists stayed on the stand. It's another cold day during the chilling trial involving murder, dismemberment, and mutilation. The defense called three doctors to testify on Monday for the People versus Brian Cohe Jr., including Dr. Paul Sprague. This clinical psychologist with more than three decades of experience testifies up to six times a year and has conducted up to 300 forensic exams, including Cohe's insanity evaluation in November 2022. On Tuesday, Sprague explains he conducted the evaluation with a combination of historical data, Cohe's interview, and subsequent data, including the retrospective clinical assessment conducted in May 2022, by Dr. Laura Serrano Amerigo and her board certified colleague. She diagnosed Cohe with antisocial personality disorder instead of major depressive disorder. Sprague says that's wrong because there's no evidence of conduct disorder before 15 years old, meaning no evidence of theft, property destruction, or repetitive rule breaking behavior by Cohe. Dr. Sprague diagnosed Cohe with autism, ADHD, and major depressive disorder. He explains someone with that disorder has persistent thoughts of death that can range from two weeks to eight months. The prosecution wants to prove Brian Jr. was planning, preparing, and hiding, but Dr. Sprague says research is different than planning, and Cohe was more likely indulging on fixated interests to the max. Sprague says no single diagnosis can account for the murder, but the combination of autism, ADHD, depressive disorder, race Facing an intrusive thoughts from the lack of medication and isolation from the pandemic contributing to Cohe's fixation on violence actually set the stage for a psychotic episode leading to the murder. Sprague says a psychotic episode only needs one trigger, and that trigger was Warren Barnes. Now, Sprague says Cohe was not legally sane at the time of the murder, but during the prosecution's cross-examination, assistant DA Trish Mayer points out that Sprague didn't even know Cohe was wearing a blue jumpsuit he associates with violence while he was seeking out a victim, had movie night with mom and dad an hour before the murder, and attempted to hide the evidence after the murder. She also says Sprague is not board certified, not appointed by the court, not qualified to conduct the sane evaluation, never provided notes to state doctors, did not record Cohe's interview on video, and his opinion is not peer-reviewed. Plus, he was appointed by the defense and paid $20,000 for his services. The trial continues Wednesday, and I'll be there. Until then, live at the Mesa County Justice Center and first on the Western Slope, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Mike? Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, new details tonight on the